Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure to hit that like if you liked anything in this video and drop a comment below. Um, so in this video, I actually want to discuss three major things. Um, the first being the giveaway that will be occurring soon. Uh, an update on the Superior Red Cross Fry with the Black Russian. And then new fish to the channel. So for the first thing, I've missed a couple of videos the past week or so. So this video is first going to just be a um, little heads up video that a contest will be occurring soon. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, I've discussed with a couple of people about prizes and that will be occurring soon. So that was for the milestone for 2,500 subscribers, which I believe this morning when I checked, we had 2,500 and I think like 60 something. So that's an awesome milestone, I already hit that. So keep an eye out for the contest, it should be coming out either within the week or within the next couple week or so. Uh, so yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that. Hit the subscribe key, not the subscribe key, the little bell on top right, that will give you a notification whenever a video comes out so you don't miss that. Now the second thing is going to be an update on these guys. So these are the Superior Red crossed with the black Russian male, Dumbo Ear. <clears throat> so these guys were born on October 11th, so they're about a month and a week old. Um, I believe they're starting to be able to be sexable. If that's even a word. Uh, from what I could tell, there's definitely one female, and the other ones are still kind of young, but they're looking great. They definitely have the black gene from the black Russian, but they don't have the black body, just the black tail. So we'll see how they end up coming up. These guys are doing great. Like that one, the second one to the left is definitely a female. So they have some nice black coloring. Now, the last update of this video is actually really exciting. Um, I've been trying to get, well, if I go back to my roots, uh, I did have a pair of Beta, but these were Beta Splendens, uh, if I pronounced that right. That's your just your common Beta fish, and it was, I believe they were called the King Beta, which is at the very large males, and then a Crown Tail female, and I used to breed those. <clears throat> now, the only reason I stopped was, obviously, Beta fish are actually really aggressive, and you can't keep them together for very often, so if you keep the male and female, eventually he'll start beating her up. Can't keep males together when they're fried, because then they start attacking each other. Females, sometimes you get lucky, you could have a sorority, and they don't fight, but still, they still do sometimes. So, that took up a lot of tank room, and I, I just couldn't do it, so I stopped. Um, but now, I was lucky enough to pick up a pair of betta fish. But now these aren't just any kind of betta fish. I was contacted by my local fish store after I sold all the guppies I had in here, which now, if you could tell, it's full again for like about another 20. And he told me that he knows someone that has a special kind of betta. Um, he said he, doesn't have, he didn't have time to breed them or any of that stuff because he's running his store, so he offered them to me for free. Um, to see if I could breed them for him, and I could keep them, and then I just would sell them to him at a reduced price, but then other fry I keep for myself as well. Now, the only problem with this is that there's not much information on these fish. Again, as you can tell, I still haven't mentioned what kind of beta they are. Um, so, I've checked online, I can find stuff, but it's not detailed. Like, when you look up guppies and how to breed guppies and guppy care, you find hundreds and hundreds of thousands of websites now when I search these fish, I get about maybe 10 hits max, uh, all of repeated information. So it doesn't seem to be much information on them. So, I'm going to build up the suspense here a little bit. I picked up a male and a female. Uh, they showed up about, today's what, today's Sunday, they showed up Thursday in great, great conditions. And they're actually in that tank right there with some almond leaves to make it uh, black water condition and they also have some very dim lights. Right now they're a little brighter, little brighter but that's about it. So what I've gotten so far is that they only eat live food 
or they only accept live food, but it's possible to transition them to other like pellets and stuff like that, but it's slightly harder. I have fed them uh, bloodworms, and they have taken them very well, but I haven't really seen the fish very often because they like to hide. They want the tank to be very well planted and it's with a lot of cover, so there's a lot of java moss in there. I put a cave in there for them because the males like caves. Some um, Anubius nana from the clipping of this plant. As you can tell, this plant actually became three. One in here, one over there, and then this one here that's still growing. This one I might cut in half, turn into another one. Um, and I have a little dish in there for their worms, so they're not all over the place in the tank. And they have been eating them because there's none left inside the thing. I might not be lucky enough to show you what they look like in this actual video, but I'm going to post a little picture in the video so you guys can see what they look like, and they're amazing. So, with that said, the fish that I received are our beta hendra. Now, these are wild, a wild type beta, and they are pretty hard to find from what I've been told, and from information online. So they're pretty pricey as well. Um, there's also not a lot of information. So if you guys know anything about Beta Hendra, drop comments and links below. That's, that'd be perfectly awesome. Perfectly awesome is even a word, or makes any sense, but whatever. Um, so we could all learn together about this. So i will definitely be breeding those if they breed. So these guys are also bubble nesters. They're not mouth brooders. So that's why there's some floating fake plants on top, so they could build their nests on that. And they also like to build nests inside caves, so that's why we have the Pleco Cave in there, which actually worked out perfectly that I had uh, Pleco Caves left over. So let's get a closer look. Yeah, I suspected they're not anywhere. Actually, nope, that's just writing. From what I've seen, they hide underneath this, that corner right back there, and inside the cave, which I don't think they're in right now. I shined a light in there, I couldn't see them, so it might be in the back behind the filter. So, I'll post a little picture right now of what they look like. And these guys are going to become one of my new projects now. Uh, I don't know how large of a scale I'll be breeding them in. So what's awesome about these guys is that they're not aggressive or as aggressive as our fancy type. Um, you could keep them in groups, so you keep the male and female together usually. Uh, but it was recommended that if you're going to breed them, to separate the female from the male, let him do his own little thing in his tank, and then when you add the female, that usually um, triggers them to spawn. But you could also keep them in groups. I've, there's been I read articles of people that keep males and females together all the time. They're constantly having uh, fry, so you have different generations of fry. Uh, free swimmers in the tank and stuff like that. And then you can have multiple males and multiple females in tanks. Uh, people have had groups in as ta tanks as small as three gallons. And then the larger ha tank you have, the more fry you have. So, <clears throat> the more fry you have, yes. So, I'll be learning with you guys. And I think this would be pretty cool for all you beta lovers out there. So, these are not um, the domestic kind, these are wild type. And they're called Beta Hendra. H-E-N-D-R-A, and yeah, that's what we got, so we'll see how those guys go, and I'm pretty excited about them, they're really, really nice, I love the really nice deep blue with the red on their gills, again, you saw the picture before, so that's what we got, so I showed you in this video, I showed you the contest that's coming up soon for the 2,500 subscriber mark, uh, the update on those fry, which I'm pretty excited about to see what they look like, and then the new fish in the fish room. Other than that, I do have nine fry from the purple mosaic. Uh, only one female gave birth out of the three that I had. But what I did now is separated the blue diamond male, uh, blue diamond female. I put her with the purple mosaic male to see what I could get with the blue, nice blue coloring. He has one female with him, the nice blue one. One of the other males, which I, one of the yellow males, and now actually came out to be one of my favorite fish. Right here, Dumbo Ear, with yellow and red tail. Uh, nice blue scales on his back tail, the half black, and then blue on the front. I put him with two of the yellow females, which were also his sisters, which were also with the blue diamond, oh, with the purple mosaics. So if they drop purple mosaics, I'm perfectly fine with that. And we'll keep just breeding them together, see what we get. Then we have the other one in here with three other random females. Just see what we get with that. 
keeping these two guys in there and then lastly a bunch of other fish to sell in this tank so that's what we got guys if you liked anything in the video make sure to hit that like button drop a comment below i still have to comment back on everyone else's which i haven't gotten to yet and until next time keep an eye out for that subscriber giveaway video coming up soon all right guys have a good one